this screencast will introduce you to the user interface for all participants uh, within the Blackboard Collaborate Ultra platform. Uh, before I begin, I just want to point out that the preferred browsers for Collaborate Ultra are always the latest releases of Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox. Um, the screen that you've you can currently see at this moment in time is the entry point for the, any virtual room within Blackboard to collaborate. Um, this is the sort of view you're going to see whether you're either opening the link within the Blackboard Learn environment or whether you've got a email invite in the form of like a sh shareable URL. So first of all, all you need to do when you get to this stage is enter your name provided in the field here. If the, you actually got the link generated from within a Blackboard Learn, then it will automatically populate this with your name based on the account that you are logged in. So just for this example, I'm just going to put my name in as Joe Blocks and simply click join session. So the first step, step in terms of entering the room is to configure your audio and video. Uh, this is what will happen for all first time users uh, based on the machine that you are logging in with. So as you can see at the top, um, I've got a message that says jump in and get started. Set up your microphone and camera so you can start collaborating. So you've got two, two variables, yes and no. So yes, we want to configure our audio and video. So. The next step is the audio test. So as you see, I'm talking now, and you can see the, the volume bar picking up my audio from my microphone. So the device it's asking for me to use is the default device set on my PC. So you can click on this and get the drop down menu. Uh, I actually have three audio devices, one being the one I've got now, one that's built into my PC, and, and the third one being on my uh, webcam. So as it's a headset microphone, I'm going to make sure that I'm selecting the headset microphone. It may come up with the, the brand or product name of the headset that you're actually wearing, just in case. So select that, and if you're happy, proceed by clicking yes, it's working. So the next step is going to go on to a um, video test. So as you can see, um, my video seems to be working and it's the same principle as the audio. If you've got more than one webcam, you can actually select which camera you want to use. So a good example of this one would be if you had a laptop or um, and that has a built-in webcam and you've plugged in a USB uh, peripheral device as well with a webcam. So you'd be able to see the onboard and USB version. So I'm, I've only got one to choose from, so I'm going to go with that. Okay, so once you've completed that, so by default, uh, when you when you enter the room, um, your or your video and audio is muted by default once you've completed this setup. Um, to actually get your microphone uh, or your cam your actual video camera to begin, um, you need to actually enable this. This is something um, you, you need to click on. So. Um, when we enter Blackboard Collaborate, all sort of content and interaction is going to happen within this content frame here. Um, all our sort of different variable options are here at the bo bottom. So enabling our audio, uh, if you hover the cursor over the microphone icon, you can see it comes up share audio. So it kind of works like a, a, um, a radio on and off button. So basically need to, for the microphone to come on, we need to enable it. So if we click that, you can see as I'm talking, the microphone is moving up and down. This indicates without the line through it that, that my uh, microphone is on. It's the same principle again when I go to my video camera. So the next one along is the video camera icon, share video, if I click that. It gives you a preview just to make sure you're happy with sharing, with sharing your video before you actually it goes live. So click that and again, we'll populate the content frame. And again, just click it again to turn it off. The next one along is the raise hand feature. So um, depending on the etiquette of the classroom, depending on the instructor or the tutor, what they what they state at the beginning, whether they take questions during a presentation or a talk, they might say to you, you know, use the raise hand feature. Um, so it's kind of like being in a classroom. So when we click that, it will raise, it will tell the, the instructor, whoever's leading the room, that you've got your hand raised, uh, whether it's for a question or an interruption or, or what's, whatever. So that's there. Um, the next one along is the open chat feature. So 
again anyone who's used to any sort of uh, text chat uh, online if we click that it will open a side frame and in here you can type your text in and that will appear at the top and again closing that will minimize it and finally the last one is the participants list so this kind of acts like a, a roster so if we click on this it'll show everyone who's in the room so I think it was approximately a maximum at this at this current version of about 100 users can be can be in this virtual office at any time so again you'd, you'd see them all down there and you'd be able to see who the instructor was uh, and all the other students and you've got this little search fu function here if you're trying to search for a specific name um, the one icon I di didn't click on was the avatar your uh, our avatar icon which is the first one with so this is actually um where we can configure our local settings um so if i click into that um the first one i've got is the ability to edit my audio and video settings so this is kind of the, the first section where when i logged in i had to set my audio and video off first or set that up uh, if i needed to, to re recreate them steps again i could simply click that and go through them um, Below that is the speaker volume, so this is the inner ear volume, the micro, microphone volume, so if your microphone, someone's saying your microphone's a bit too loud or it's picking up too much uh, sound, you can we can bring that up and down. Um, notification settings, if we expand that, um, we've got the ability to, to uh, customise our notifications, so depending on what sounds and visual notification we want to see while we're in this room. And lastly is the uh, report an issue. So, uh, there's anything, any technical problems um, that you you can't report to LTD or IT services, then um, this will this will report it straight to Blackboard. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, obviously, the, the last thing you need to be aware of is to leave a session is in the top left. You can either click here or you can literally close your tab or close the browser down.